headache, low blood sugar, shaky. You're looking great. We're going to Scotland! You could always try mushy peas. <laughs> Good morning, guys. We're up and get moving. Good morning. So we decided to stop one of Mary's IVs, uh, the one that's toxic to her kidneys, her kidney function jumped a little bit on the last dose, and this would be the last dose before she ends IV, so we just decided to stop here, and Mary's going to do her oral glucose tolerance test here pretty soon. We're trying to figure out, thankfully, she doesn't have to drink the disgusting <coughs> orange soda. They, um, I think it was part of their quality improvement initiatives a couple of years ago, they um, decided to let CF patients drink two cans of soda instead. So at least that makes it a little bit better. Who? Who? I got a gross shiver. How's that soda? It's disgusting. She's downed one can. Well, because she has little cans of ginger ale, she's got to do four cans of ginger ale. Or we just discovered some Gatorade that has 20 grams, so she could do one of those. <laughs> I feel like I'm in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. In pretty, that burping. Pretty burpy? Thing. <laughs> um, four cans of ginger ale on an empty stomach in the morning. Just think. Just think about the orange soda. <sighs> you can do it. You can do it. You want me to drink one to no. commensurate with you? Okay. I'm gonna continue. <laughs> this is Mary post four ginger ales, three bullet tests, and sleepy, low blood sugar Mary. Headache, low blood sugar, shaky. You're looking great. So the doctors are changing her order so that we can order her some food. Well, I'll probably go down and get her some soup or something. Soup or something. And get some food in this girl. Um, I don't have any thoughts. So the doctors came in this morning, and I think the plan is to go home tomorrow. So. My plan is to go home tonight. We'll see what happens. Hey guys, so Mary, after the oral glucose thing, and then she ate a little bit because her blood sugar was really low, and now headaches come on again, and she's not feeling good, feeling nauseous, so they're going to give her some Zofran and some pain meds to try to get it under control. Blah. Blah. It's kind of frustrating because we're going home tomorrow and it's like we don't want Mary feeling like this after a month in the hospital. But it's probably from the drugs. Yeah. So hopefully coming off the drugs tomorrow and getting a fresh start at our little rehab house will be good for her. Report rehab rehab rock house. How's it going? Good. Do you think? Hmm? Oh. Hi. Hi. Um, update. Number one. I'm sitting up. My head, I still feel pressure, but the pain is a lot better. Excuse me. I'm making thank you cards for like nurses and stuff. Nurses and stuff, because I'm going home tomorrow. 
So we printed a few um, of my flamingo. Look at this it. was my first. Was this my first watercolor? I think so. Yeah. So we're gonna like make cards like that. Awesome. So that's what I'm doing. And then this one is Gracie, my sister's dog. And one of the nurse practitioners like loved this little painting. So I'm gonna give her a card with that on. So cute. So we are getting ready to go tomorrow. Taking down artwork. This was our home for a month. <laughs> I'm not sad. I'm excited to leave, but it, it was kind of sad taking down your artwork. I'm a little bit, um, ill. Yeah. Like, just the side effects of the, um, pain med took care of the headache, gave me a different issue, which is just, I feel like, a little nauseous, and I guess the headache might st be starting to come back. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. But, hey, I enjoyed my... Wait. Hour and a half of... Human. Yeah. Like, I felt human. It's good to feel human. <laughs> I made some thank you cards. They're so adorable. Check them out. So we did these two. It's so cute. Three of these. And two of these. So. Love it. Thanks, babe. <laughs> and I changed. I'm wearing my pudding pants. Pudding pants. Christmas pudding I pants. got my pudding pants. I, I got, got my, my pudding, pudding pants. pants. I got my gray and Christmas pudding pants. I got my highlight shirter. Highlight shirter. Highlighter shirt. And she might be a little drugged. But not bad. I mean, really, compared yeah. to what it could be. So a few days ago, I was working on a Colorado sunset picture It's still taped on the table um, And that was the day that I got the really bad headache and I wasn't able to finish it and then just like the days Since then I just haven't been able to finish it and so I Think I'm just gonna face the fact that that's a fact of life sometimes I have an idea and I want to start it and I want to finish it and I'm not able to so I'm just gonna own it and say, we're just gonna name that painting Unfinished Business. And it, it is what it is, and that's how it will be. So let us take the tape off, please. Right. There it is. Unfinished Business. There's supposed to be a tree right here, but there will never be a tree. It'll be a good memory. I love it. The memory of the day I had a horrible headache. <laughs> it is what it is. I like it. And that's the on the back is the um, snowy scene that I did like the first second day that I was doing watercolor. I ripped it up and painted on the top. And this is a little tiny version um, because I was gonna practice the tree. Can you take that one off for yep. me? This one's called... Treeless Entry. <laughs> it's like keyless entry, but treeless entry. What were you going to call it? I was going to call it like unfinished practice business. Oh yeah, that one's a little weird. It's just the reality. Just face it. We've been What's in here reality? for a month. So we have to stretch out our legs and our bones and just not <laughs> sit. Just stay in our bones. 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 Stretch it out. Thank <laughs> you.
Ready to go home? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you want to remove the bunting? Yes. The removal of the bunting. Nice dancing. Thank you. It's called the bunting dance. Bunting. So, should we just throw this away? Yep. Should <laughs> do something epic. Like, pull it in the trash? Throw it in there. That was epic. Epic. Stir crazy much? It's like, it's like when you get that hope of like leaving, you start getting stir crazy. Yes. But it's sort of like when you have to go to the bathroom in the car. Yes. And when you're getting closer to home, you have to go worse. Yeah, it's like, wow, how did that happen? Yeah. It's like, I knew I had a key, but oh, man. Yeah. So, we know we're going This will make you have to pee more. Time flies. Time flies. Kind of like this month in the hospital. Yeah, it has flown. But, but it was kind of funny because we were talking with a nurse tonight, like saying goodbye to her because she was on her last shift before we leave. And uh, she was one of the first, she was the first nurse. Uh, well, Jackie was oh, the first. Yeah. She was one of the like, first nurses. Yeah, the second or third. And uh, she, like, the, after that weekend, first weekend, she had gotten in a car accident. And like to me, it seems like it was like yesterday. Yeah. Because we've been here, and she's like talking about, yeah, I got my car back. And yeah. I, and I'm thinking, yeah, didn't you just get in the accident? She's like, it was three weeks ago. Yeah. So to us, it was like we've been in the hospital doing the same thing. To her, like life keeps going. And yeah, like for all these nurses that we see every day, it's like they have like normal lives and they yeah. live them for a month, and we've been in this room. Yeah. It's kind of weird. It is kind of weird. But I guess if you would have rewound and told me you're gonna fly back to America in three days and then spend a month in the hospital, I would have I would have had like a mental breakdown. Absolutely. Yeah. But God walked us through each day, and I can safely say that I am gonna get out of the hospital sane. Maybe a little less sane than when we came. A little bit. <laughs> Just but you know. Yeah, he totally gave some. us the grace and strength to yeah, walk through it. Totally. We're going home tomorrow. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. All right. I'm going home. I'm coming home. I'm coming home. Yeah. I'm coming home. Tell the world I'm coming home. She's coming. To a home I've never seen and will only be there for about a short a amount weeks. of time. <laughs> Time to go to bed, you sleepy heads. Actually, I'm like feeling okay right now. Like my head, I think the drugs wore off, so the side effects of the drugs. And my head, it still hurts a little, but not bad. Now, does my head hurt right now? I feel just a little twinge, uh, like right here. Does it hurt me at all? No? No. Does it now? <laughs> yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Okay. You smell like black licorice. <laughs> I brushed my teeth with black licorice. Oh, okay. Just kidding. Um, so yeah, my head's better. This is what she testified to it in the comments. She always does this when I'm holding the camera, so now it's my turn. <laughs> <Salty>. <laughs> Good night.